PCBs belong to a broad family of man-made organic chemicals known as chlorinated hydrocarbons. PCBs were domestically manufactured from 1929 until their ban in 1979 and were used in hundreds of industrial and commercial applications. Although no longer commercially produced in the United States, PCBs may be present in products and materials produced before the 1979 ban. In 2009, the Environmental Protection Agency announced new guidance regarding PCBs in caulk from buildings constructed or renovated between 1950 and 1978. The EPA recommends testing for PCBs in peeling, brittle, cracking, or deteriorating caulk in buildings, especially school environments. Shown are the EPA's partial list of items that may contain PCBs. The PCBs used in these products were chemical mixtures made up of a variety of individual chlorinated biphenyl compounds. Prior to the 1979 ban, PCBs entered the environment during their manufacture and use. Once in the environment, PCBs do not readily break down and therefore may remain for long periods of time cycling between air, water, and soil. PCBs can be carried long distances and have been found in snow and seawater in areas far away from where they were released into the environment. As a consequence, PCBs are found all over the world. PCBs have been demonstrated to cause cancer, as well as a variety of other adverse health effects on the immune system, reproductive system, nervous system, and endocrine system. For a list of qualified environmental and indoor air quality professionals in your area, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.